eat, and I'm Suzanne Ridgeway. Today's video is going to be about a bunch of everything, because we can get it all done. We can cook, we can clean, we can work, we can raise our kids, we can do everything. I'm a working mom, stay-at-home mom, and today I'm going to make you an amazing, going to be my homemade chicken soup, and the broth I made a few weeks back, and I made a huge batch of it and froze it in my second freezer so when I do need it for casseroles and soups I can take it out and thaw it and I have it right there. I have my leftover chicken from yesterday and when you utilize your leftovers from a big meal you are saving yourself a ton of money every month on your food bill getting more bang for your buck. So when you're looking at things like chicken no matter your family size think buying bulk or getting the extra meaty whole chicken so you can utilize it for leftovers such as sandwiches, soups, and casseroles. I have a Pinterest account also titled Let Us Eat, Cook, Clean, and Family with over 36,000 food recipes of chicken, beef, and pork and everything you can think of. So look me up on Pinterest if you like that app and give me a follow. I have about 4,000 followers on Pinterest and I would love to get up to 1,000 followers here on YouTube. So, if you haven't yet, click on that red, red subscribe word. Give this video a big thumbs up and tap the bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload new content. Let's get these dishes done. There's not that many. My husband did most of them yesterday after I went over to Green Island, New York to do some bird photography yesterday. I went up with a friend and I got a close-up of a beautiful bald eagle my morning news aired it twice on the news today so that was pretty exciting they like to show viewer photos and I get them on the news quite a bit my moon shots that was my first bird shot it was a bald eagle it was sitting on an egg we believe because it's been there every time I've gone and it doesn't leave the nest so that means that they're sitting on an egg that's going to hatch in the spring and it's getting near spring It'll be nice this week, but it's not going to officially be spring until the 21st of this month. You should always make sure the water feels like a bee sting, but not overly hot where you're going to get a burn. And feel around, make sure there's no food particles. My blue jay are extra hungry today. I'll feed them again on the way out the door. I'm going to be doing some photography on location again later to this morning to see if my Canadian geese are out yet with their younglings. I'll be visiting a lot of waterfalls between now and June because you want to go before it gets too hot because the waterfalls tend to dry up depending on where they're located and how much water is rushing. I'm going to finish up these dishes at my counter cloth and I ordered three new ones. And it does such a fantastic job cleaning your counters and surfaces and fridges appliances, it does everything. Plus you're saving the earth by not using paper towels, and I like that. I never really use paper towels for cleanups. I've always used a sponge or a tea towel. But that'll save my tea towels, because most of the time I just like them to look for that look at a really good price on a budget. I just diced a half an onion and I'm going to add it to my crock pot. Now I'm going to add my homemade broth. And if it's slightly frozen, that's okay because the crock pot will take care of it. Now 
now I'm gonna chop up my chicken. I'm chopping up my celery, about a half an inch thick. And there's some celery, carrots, and onions already within the broth in my crock pot. the chicken. This is my leftover chicken that we made yesterday. We roasted it. I'm just going to cut it into bite-sized pieces. And there's so much chicken here, I can make a chicken sandwich or chicken salad as well. I'm going to put most in the soup because my husband likes fully loaded chicken soup. And we're probably going to do rice or noodles with it later. I don't put them in the crock pot because they tend to get mushy and you end up having like a stew or a stoop. A stoop is like in between a soup and a stew, if you don't know. Look at that delicious chicken breast. My husband did a really good job yesterday roasting the chicken. This can cook on low because it's pre-cooked, the chicken. At the end of the video, I'll include my picture of my bald eagle that was on my local morning news. I do that a lot and show my photos and I'll put a link in the description box how to get to my photography page on Facebook. Here's what my homemade chicken soup looks like with the bone broth that I made in batches a few weeks ago. And it thawed nicely and it will sit in my crock pot all day until about dinner time. And we'll make either rice or noodles to go with it and I may even make some cornbread to go with it as well. Before you do a big cleanup, it's always important to do a walkthrough. And you can see things that need to be taken care of right away. I got to check on our gerbil. I'm going to put away the blanket and touch up the couch. Need to sweep. Made the bed already in there. Wipe down my surfaces. You should always wipe down your surfaces every single day. And I have some laundry to put away. Turning your attention to the TV room. Just a quick sweep in here. And I want to get the computer plugged in so it's ready when my 11 year old gets home from school later today. Fold up the blanket and put it in the top chest. This fits three blankets including my weighed blanket right there. And we can shoot at a friend's house. And over at the playground when it was slightly warmer out. I don't know if you can hear the cardinal, but he is singing loudly and proudly. Get all the germs off of this table. These wipes are a mom's best friend for quick cleanup when you have company coming over in a half an hour and you have a few minutes per area to clean. Grab wipes, wipe down your surfaces, grab a crap basket. I have them in my house. Everything that doesn't belong in the room, put them in the basket. Have your kids and your husband put their stuff away later. Also, the bathroom, make sure you wipe down the toilet and the sink. When the people are cable top should be completely cleared. Make your beds and nothing in the kitchen sink and clean countertops. That way it looks nice and clean and you can bake it on busy days. I'm just going to wipe down the arms of the couch here. Because my 11 year old likes to stick things everywhere where they don't belong. And I'm going to wipe down the TV screen and give it a good dusting on Wood part. Some of my best cleaning tips are to have wipes on hand.
they are mom's best friend or anyone's best friend for quick cleanups. Also, have those baskets handy so you can quickly gather things and put them aside for later to put them away. Always keep your surfaces clean, your bathroom clean, your countertops clean, and your kitchen sink clean of dishes if you're having anyone come over or just when your husband comes home from work. It's great ways to do some speed cleaning to get things done quickly so we can get it all done. I will be doing a decluttering video probably Wednesday and I'll be doing the downstairs dungeon, my utility room, and we're going to show you a few days of, the, of that process because it's going to take a while to get it cleaned out. There's 10 years of crap down there and we're going to purge, toss, and donate most of it because I only want to keep 20% of what's down there and that's seasonal like bikes, Christmas, and very little down there. I brought a shelf down so I get things off the floor and organize so it looks better. Especially for the new tenant that lives down there. I want her to have a little more room for herself as well because we've been here for a long time with no one ever using that room. So we kind of feel like it's ours but we're sharing now and I want to share. If you haven't already, Give this video a big thumbs up and look for that red subscribe word. And don't forget to tap that bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video.